Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm Zipper Spark, and you're watching my FTB Continuum Let's Play series. Now, last time, if you remember, we had some trouble in the nether, but we were working on getting um, some progress done, and the next thing I wanted to work on was the water wheel and the dynamo. The only problem with that is I need some empowered diamantine crystal. So I have this set up to empower some diamantine. Um, I don't have much diamonds right now. I only got four in there. But, so I'm not going to do a block, um, even though that saves on the other stuff, but it's just light blue and clay, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but let's get these converted over and now we can work on empowering one of them now I guess oh wow that was a lot shorter than I expected it to be I guess I I'm used to packs where they um, Ah, uh, here, take it easy on me. There we go. Used to packs where they make it harder by upping the cost of the empowering, but this is actually fairly cheap, so that's good. All right. So I've got that. Uh, we need Electrum, which is uh, silver and gold. So we have Electrum there. Um, where'd my silver go? There's a silver. Probably need two. And gold. Add some gold. Where'd my gold go? I'm out of gold. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, I don't see gold. All right, well, I'm going to have to go get some gold. Well, I thought I was ready for this. I guess not. Uh, double check. Peridot, bauxite, uranium, nickel. Hmm, yeah, no gold. All right, well, let's put these away, I guess. And put this up here. All right, so, yep, looks like we're mining. So let me get some gold, and I will we'll be back. All right, got the gold and the silver in there. Uh, silver just melted. The gold, I put three extra pieces in because you need this uh, intricate circuit board. So that's what the extra gold is for. And the electrum looks like is should give me four ingots once it's all done. And good. Okay. I need that in the form of a gear. Right. Electrum gear. Yep. Okay. And then the other gold I need in ingot form. All right. So let me get this and uh, I'll show you the circuit board. All right, realized I needed some other stuff too. So needed some Invar gears, which are going super slow. The the circuit board here and then these diamantine. Um, I do need to make this still. I haven't uh, even looked at that. Well, I know what it is. It's a high voltage wire, um, which is steel and aluminum, I, if I recall. But so I got over here. Um, I need a bucket of water. That goes there, and that goes there. Okay, and then take that out so that it doesn't use the power. And then this should be done. Almost. There we go. And it can go to sleep. All right. 
So the high voltage, I need a bunch of HV wire around iron. And this is steel wire, aluminum wire, rounds and sticks. So I just need one of these. So that is two crafts of this. So four of each wire. Okay. Um, the uh, I need steel plates. Yeah, how much steel do I have? I don't have any <laughs> in there going. Do I have an? I don't think I have enough over here either. So no steel there, no steel there. Over here, I don't have any. I've got two plates, two ingots. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need more steel. So, uh, charcoal. I don't have any charcoal, do I? Can I turn this into charcoal? Um, in the redstone furnace, it looks like. Mm. <laughs> I can smell other logs. This. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the charcoal I can actually put in the um the blast furnace. So it kind of skips the coal coke because that does take a while to do the coal coke but you do go through more charcoal obviously you can see it kind of goes quickly and I'm gonna run out if I don't grab some more real quick and please don't run out please don't run out Oh, well, it's not going down at least. So it looks like four charcoal makes a steel. All right, so there's one that should give me enough for my plates. Um, but I still need some for the, the wires, yes. So, all right. So when I got some steel and aluminum ready to go, make the wires actually I need to blueprint too don't I press a blueprint so I need I need another steel so yeah all right yep yeah, looks like I am babysitting the steel production so let me get this and I'll be back all right have enough for the blueprint and I should be able to make the mold now uh, switch this one out that and that and that okay yeah can I just store this in here yeah all right that gives me this so now I can swap that and uh, aluminum and steel how much more I got 16 okay all right make the steel so this should make I think this makes two Uh, come on. Yep, two. All right, so just need to do this a few more times, and uh, same with the aluminum. And I will be back when I have the coil ready to go. All right, so I got the steel wires, aluminum wires, so the HV wires, and that makes a coil. And. Where did I put those? There. What am I still missing? 
the circuit board. Did I, oh, did I ever grab it from the, I might not have, nope. Why is this still there? I don't know. <laughs> All right. And boom. All right. So we got the dynamo. Next step is the water wheel. So water wheel. So it looks like you need four segments, another steel, which is cooking right now. Um, and these are just the sticks and the planks. All right. So um, optimize the dynamo. You want to have three wheels. So I'll make enough for three wheels. Actually, that might be what the... No, just one. Okay. Um, here. One, two, three, four. That should give me enough for one wheel, yeah. So I need some more planks there. Got plenty of creosote. Sure, we'll make 20. Start to go. All right, oops, night time. Let's look at my steel. Got three pieces there, perfect. And I've got that. One, two, three, four. more okay I need more than that I'll just make the rest of it sure missing sticks oh, there's some sticks all right here's all the sticks I should need now I just need 12 planks can I actually make these? No. <laughs> if you watch my Modern Sky Black 3 series, I had a lot of fun with that, but... And there we go. And those. Okay, so let's figure out where to put this. Up here would actually be kind of nice. Um, let's wait, it's over there, but I might put it over there. Um, there's a creeper. Ugh. Got him. Get my arrows. All right. All right, not exactly sure where I'll set this up. Um, this is kind of no necessary, you know, uh, method to my madness here. Uh, that is one leftover in bar. Yep. Okay. Well, let's switch this out. Okay. Um, and I want the, the power easily accessible here. So maybe Maybe right here. Sure, let's put it here. So 
clear some of this out and um, yeah let me clear out this spot get it all ready and set up and everything and I'll be right back all right I have this set up um, ready to go almost um, I need to put some stuff in the sides and then the water obviously but uh, this is the configuration that um, I mean way back when this mod first came out people figured out was the you know one of the optimized ways where you put the water on top and it rolls over the bottom and then you can kind of optimize the um, get every last little inkling of power out of it because every one of these you can kind of hover over these and you can kind of see the blocks well every one of these blocks that is touching flowing water in the direction that it's spinning is um, increases the amount of power that the wheel produces so if you start it up there on the you know the top corner it kind of flows down and around and then you put this so that it kind of bumps the water over against it and then down over and then on this side you have water source blocks here flowing out and then up here on top of the where these logs are they'd be flowing in it kind of maximizes the amount of um, flowing water on them so then depending on the mod pack and how much these um, power produce it can get um, the the maximum available when it's done that way and I think at the time it was F2B infinity and it was about 88 RF per tick so um, passive power generation a constant 88 is actually really good and um, so right now we've got the well the the clock torque engine clockwork clock torque whatever and then I can get in here we've got the clockwork yeah, clockwork engine and the coal generator coal is um, almost full of power but it's out of actual coal so Yep, so what I need to do now is I need, uh, and I got some, brought some glass to kind of block off the sides, especially where the water is going to be for now. Um, we can kind of complete this and make it prettier later. But for now, I just wanted the. And then here. Um, it's actually not needed there, but kind of for completeness, we'll put it there. And then here, I think this is not needed necessarily, but again, we'll do it for so it doesn't look like these can spill out the side. All right, so now we hop up on there. Um, I can use this. Okay, so water, actually let me put this here just so that I can make my water source. So the stars are starting to go. And then here and here. And doesn't see what we're doing so far. But uh it's getting nighttime. You can see the speed of this has picked up pretty good. So that's it. So the water kind of flows here, up and around and over, all the way down under here, and then up to there. So the most water that you can put on the side. Um, and some people have experimented with putting a bit on the back side, but it doesn't really change the doesn't change the amount of water or of energy produced because um, you can put like a row of blocks here and then have some flowing water across these but you can't really get the water flowing up 
so you just have it flowing out and uh, doesn't seem to affect that at all so we just need to get this hooked up into here and um, then we can take advantage of its power I don't think I have enough only two yeah I'm gonna have to make some more of these that's not it this one right here so lead and tin okay lead and tin okay um yeah let's just put it in here all right so let me get these made up hooked up and uh, I'll be back all right I'm back I got it hooked up over there I actually had to make three recipes um, you s I only got enough on camera for two but I had to make three because I needed one more piece so, yeah. um, may have been able to connect it over here but anyways it's connected now but um, looks like the next thing I wanted to do was the power generation or power storage so this is just create a power cell a smart wrench so the power cell if we look some lead plates silver refined circuit board copper coils and treated wood this is iron and then LV which is copper and uh, lead plates so something simple we've seen this before well all these components before we never put it together um, but we are gonna have to do that tomorrow because it's nighttime anyways so <laughs> let me sleep through and get the stuff put together and I'll be right back all right got the circuit board that should be everything I needed so the coil oh I need one more uh, um actually let me pull up from here just to make it quick okay Power cell and what was the smart wrench? Um, this one, two blue and an iron. Oh, good thing I made another iron. Blue, blue, iron. Okay. Now let's um. Hmm. let's put that here for now so after all I didn't need the extra one okay it says it has zero in there input output input output yep there's no interface okay all right well we got some simple power storage um it's coming in i don't know if you can tell really it looks like yeah, i don't know it does not appear to be 88 although this is oh no because it's going down there you go oh 89 And it's coming in yeah it's hard to tell the rate it's coming in at but I may be getting slightly more than the 88 might be getting 89 although here it looks like if you look at the local energy at the bottom of the tooltip Okay, the ones digit is changing. It looked like it wasn't there for a while, but 
Anyways, um, that looks like it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave a like and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I'm doing right or wrong or silly or stupid or whatever. And subscribe if you haven't. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.